Hello friends, today we are going to solve few important questions of chapter number 3, pair of linear equation with two variable. This is part 2, in part 1 also I had given few important questions of chapter number 3. So let us start. Solve for x and y. First question, ax upon b minus by upon a equals to a plus b and then ax minus by equals to 2ab. We are having two equations and we have to solve for x means we have to find out x and y. So let us start first. We have to arrange it in standard form. So first we have to find out the LCM of this. Here b is there. So I'm going to multiply this with a here also with a. And here with b, here with also b. So what will happen? This will become a square x minus b square y upon a b that I, a b i am going to multiply it here so directly i will get a square b plus a b square this is my first equation in standard form now this directly i am taking this only a x minus b y equals to 2 a b but you can see these are unlike terms so we cannot add or subtract first we have to multiply this second equation with sorry with any of the numbers either we can make this a uh, coefficient of x same or coefficient of y same so what we can do whatever we like i think i am going to multiply with a so no i am let us multiply with b so this will also get b so now this will become let us um, let me write this first equation again x square minus b square y equals to a square b plus a b square and when i will multiply this will become a b x minus b square y equals to 2 a b square look now we can add or subtract here both are same so we need to subtract so sign change in all the numbers so here this will get cancelled and here i will get a square x minus a b x equals to and these two are like terms so this a square bill b will remain same but here it's 1 a b square minus 2 a b square so this will you will get minus a b square now you can take out common from this two and this also you can see a x common so here you will get a minus b and here also you will get uh, a b common a minus b this a minus b a minus b will get cancelled you need x so take this a from here in the denominator this a will also get cancelled so x equals to b now you got x equals to b now you can keep this x equals to b in any of the equation i am going to keep in this to so here a into instead of x i am going to put b minus b y equals to 2 a b now minus b y and this a into b a b so a b i will take the, that a b on other side this is positive a b this will become minus a b so you will get uh, a b answer 2 minus 1 a b 2 a b minus 1 a b a b and here also only if i take this minus b in the denominator this will get cancelled and negative sign will go in the numerator so your y will be minus a x will be plus a so this way we can solve this up now moving toward question number two a two digit number is equal to seven times the sum of its digits the number formed by reversing its digit is less than the original number by 18 find the original number so they said a two digit number is equal to seven times the sum of its digit so whenever we are writing a two digit number first we have to suppose this suppose this is your two digit number so at unit place you are having one number and at 10 place you are having one number so you can suppose this as y suppose unit place digit as y and 10 place digit as x now when i want to write down this a two digit number is equal to seven times the sum of digit means it's equal to seven times the sum of digit means x plus y into seven but a two digit number when i want to write down that two digit number I have to write, I have to multiply 10 with this 10's place number. 
why let, let me explain that if you are having 36 so what you will do 3 plus 3, 6 36 no it's 3 into 10 30 plus 6 36 so you have to multiply 10 with the tens digit number so this will become 10x plus y that will be your two digit number that is equals to seven times the sum of the digit means this number is seven times so to make them equal i have to multiply seven with the sum right this number is equal to seven times so i had multiplied it here now you will get 10x plus y equals to 7x plus 7y you can take this all here 10x minus 7y 3x now plus y minus 7y minus 6y equals to 0 you can say 3x equals to 6y or you can take this 3 in the denominator and you will get 2y so x equals to 2y now this is your first equation now they said the number formed by reversing its digit is less than the original number by 18 so the reverse number let me write down the for write down first the original number this is your original number 10x plus y and the number obtained by reversing that is 10y plus x reverse means 36 is there so now it's 63 so this way you can write down now they said the number of formed by reversing its digit is less than the original means this is greater and this is 18 less to make them equal I have to add 18 with this so you get again you will get one new equation now take this here 10x minus x plus y minus 10y equals to 18 so this will become 10x minus x 9x minus 9y equal to 18 take out 9 common x minus y equals to 18 x minus y equals to 18 by 9 again you will get this will get cancelled and you will get x minus y equals to 2 now instead of this you are having 2y x x equals to 2y so keep it here 2y minus y equals to 2 so y equals to 2 now you got your unit place digit is 2 now you have to find out x you can keep it here y, x equals to 2 into y means 2 into 2 so x equals to 4 so your unit uh, tens place number is 4 digit is 4 so to your full number will be 42 so this way you can solve this sum moving toward question number 3 the age of the father is twice the sum of the ages of his two children after 20 years his age will be equal to the sum of the ages of his children find the age of the father means here they told us to find out the age of the father but they told that the age is twice the sum of the ages of his two children means sum so first we have to suppose suppose father's age f's age equals to x years now and suppose the sum of their children's age children's children age equals to y years so this x and this y now they said the age of father is twice the sum of means father is twice if i want to make them equal i have to multiply 2 with this so this will be my first equation x is equals to 2y result number one or equation one number one you can say now after 20 years his age will be equal to the sum of the ages of his children find the age of the father means after 20 years so after 20 years what will be after 20 years f's age equals to x plus 20 and sum of series means children's age will be equal to y plus 20 plus 20 because two children they say two children so it's 20 plus 2 time we have to add 20 plus 20 directly i am writing 40 after 20 years this will be the ages of father age of father and the sum of the ages of the children now at that time he is telling a 
after 20 his age will be equal to the sum of the ages so directly you can say that x plus 20 will be equal to y plus 40 now you, you can we know that x equals to 2y is in our first equation directly you can substitute 2y plus 20 equals to y plus 40 take this y here 2y minus y equals to 40 minus 20 I taken 20 on that side so y equals to 20 so you got that y means the sum of their children's age um, before 20 years was 20 years now we want father's age so here we know that x equals to 2y so x will be equal to 2 into 20 so x will be equal to 40 so age of the father is 40 years so this way we can solve this sum also thank you so much for watching my video in my next next video again i am going to bring more sums related to pair of linear equation in two variable thank you so much keep watching my video thank you so